commercial free Catholic charismatic channel. He's strengthening the faith of so many people. To promote the gift of church teaching, dedicated for the new evangelization. God's blessings on your work, may God bless and prosper you. Shalom World, God's own channel. To one and all again, welcome. We've uh, just heard the announcements. Calling the faithful gathered in the square on uh, what can only be described as a truly glorious Palm Sunday morning uh, in Rome in this early spring. To prayer and recollection. As we await for the sacred action to begin. Those of you joining us uh, on television and through the Vatican Player video app that carries also Vatican Radio's radio uh, commentary. You can see uh, the, uh, the raised stage that's been uh, set up just before the basilica, the, uh, the basilica, the obelisk that stands in the uh, the central position in St. Peter's Square, facing the facade of the basilica. The readings for Mass today on this Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, are from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 7. The responsorial psalm is Psalm 21. Sometimes also listed as Psalm 22, according to the reckoning. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? The second reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. And the Gospel reading taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 14, verses 1 to 15, and verse 47. The Passion of the Lord. With this liturgy, the Church enters fully into Holy Week, the 
week leading up to the great Easter celebration in which the church relives through her liturgical action makes present once again to the world the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Palm Sunday is also the uh, Sunday on which in uh, the diocese throughout the world the uh, diocesan celebrations of World Youth Day take place. This year the theme of World Youth Day is Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. With the blare of trumpets, the procession has begun and has made it its way now the lead of the procession. To the raised stage, the tribune. Or which has been set up before the obelisk. participants in the procession carrying palms. The symbol of the royal greeting with which our Lord was welcomed in Jerusalem, the holy city. Just a few short days before he would be made to suffer on the cross.
the Holy Father, Pope Francis, wearing his mitre and vested in the cope under which he wears the stole. liturgical vestments for all of the uh, liturgical acts and celebrations that take place uh, outside the context of the mass proper Assisted by his Master of Ceremonies, the Holy Father has reached the throne, standing on that raised dais. Amen. Fratelli carissimi, questa assemblea liturgica è preludio alla Pasqua del Signore alla quale ci stiamo preparando con la penitenza e con le opere di carità fin dall'inizio della Quaresima. Gesù entra in Gerusalemme per dare compimento al mistero della sua morte e risurrezione. Accompagniamo con fede e devozione il nostro Salvatore nel suo ingresso nella Città Santa. E chiediamo la grazia di seguirlo fino alla croce per essere partecipi della sua risurrezione. Preghiamo. Dio Onnipotente ed Eterno, benedici questi rami e concedi a noi, tuoi fedeli, che accompagniamo insultanti il Cristo, nostro Re e Signore, di giungere con Lui alla Gerusalemme e al Cielo, e di vivere regna nei secoli dei secoli. Amen. With these words of introduction, the Holy Father has brought us into the action of Holy Week. Jesus enters Jerusalem in order to fulfill the mystery of his death and resurrection. Let us accompany him with faith and devotion in his entrance into the holy city, and let us ask the grace to follow him even unto the cross, in order that we might be made to take part in his resurrection. And with the words of blessing that follow, 
the Holy Father. Asks the almighty and ever-living God to bless these palm branches and to concede to us his faithful that we might accompany him exultant Christ our King and Lord and that we might reach with him to the heavenly Jerusalem The Holy Father has prepared the thurible and given his blessing to the deacon who will proclaim the gospel, the short reading from the gospel according to St. John, chapter 12, verses 12 to 16. Dal Vangelo secondo Giovanni. Gloria a te, oh Signore. And sensing the book of the Gospels. The deacon proclaims. In quel tempo, la grande folla che era venuta per la festa, udito che Gesù veniva a Gerusalemme, prese dei rami di palme ed uscì incontro a lui gridando, Osanna, benedetto colui che viene nel nome del Signore, il re di Israele. Gesù trovato un asinello vi montò sopra come sta scritto non temere figlia di Sio. Ecco il tuo re viene seduto su un puledro d'asina. I suoi discepoli sul momento non compresero queste cose, ma quando Gesù fu glorificato, si ricordarono che di Lui erano state scritte queste cose e che a Lui essi le avevano fatte. Parola del Signore. Siamo fratelli carissimi le folle di Gerusalemme che acclamavano Gesù Re Signore e abbiamoci in pace. Let us imitate, dear brethren, the crowds of Jerusalem who acclaimed Jesus King and Lord and let us make our way in peace.
The Holy Father, Pope Francis, is now himself proceeding to the sanctuary.
the procession has made its way to the sanctuary erected on the steps before the facade of the great Vatican Basilica, the Basilica of St. Peter. Pope Francis is now sensing the crucifix and the altar. an initial act of ritual purification to prepare the space for the sacred action. Now sensing the statue of Our Lady with the child Jesus in an act of veneration. and proceeding around the altar. using a very simple wooden pastoral staff. Preghiamo. Dio Onnipotente ed Eterno, che hai dato come modello agli uomini il Cristo tuo Figlio, nostro Salvatore, fatto uomo e umiliato fino alla morte di croce, fa che abbiamo pre presente sempre il grande insegnamento della sua passione per partecipare alla gloria della risurrezione. Egli è Dio e vive e regna con te nell'unità dello Spirito Santo per tutti i secoli dei secoli. Amen. Father, 
now vested in the chasuble. And with the singing of the curia, of the curiae, and the uh, offering of the collect prayer that sets the tone for the liturgy, we now prepare to hear the word of God proclaimed. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Profeta Isaiah. Il Signore Dio mi ha dato una lingua da discepolo, perché io sappia indirizzare una parola allo sfiduciato. Ogni mattina fa attento il mio orecchio, perché io ascolti come i discepoli. Il Signore Dio mi ha aperto l'orecchio e io non ho opposto resistenza. Non mi sono tirato indietro. Ho presentato il mio dorso ai flagellatori, le mie guance a coloro che mi strappavano la barba. Non ho sottratto la faccia agli insulti e agli sputi. Il Signore Dio mi assiste, per questo non resto svergognato. Per questo rendo la mia faccia dura come pietra, sapendo di non restare confuso.
mia forza, vieni presto in mio aiuto. Lectura de la carta del apóstol San Pablo a los filipenses. De la lettera de San Pablo apóstolo a los filipenses. Cristo Jesús, pur essendo en la condición de Dios, no retiene un privilegio de ser como Dios. Y tomó la condición de esclavo, pasando una condición de servo, diventando simile a los hombres. Y así, dal aspecto reconocido como hombre, Humilló se esteso facendosi obediente fino alla morte. With God something to be grasped. Rather he emptied himself taking the form of a slave. Coming in human likeness and found human in appearance, he humbled himself. Becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess.
Passione di nostro Signore Gesù Cristo, secondo Marco. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mancavano due giorni alla Pasqua e agli Azimi, e i capi dei sacerdoti e gli scribi cercavano il modo di catturare Gesù con un inganno per farlo morire. Dicevano infatti... si trovava a Betania, nella casa di Simone il Lebroso. Mentre era a tavola, giunse una donna che aveva un vaso di alabastro, pieno di profumo di puro nardo, di grande valore. Ella ruppe il vaso di alabastro e versò il profumo sul suo capo. Ci furono alcuni fra loro che si indignarono. ed erano infuriati contro di lei. Allora Gesù disse, «Lasciatela stare, perché la infastidite? Ha compiuto un'azione buona verso di me. I poveri, infatti, li avete sempre con voi, e potete far loro del bene quando volete, ma non sempre avete me. Ella ha fatto ciò che era in suo potere» ha unto in anticipo il mio corpo per la sepoltura in verità io vi dico there were some who were indignant why has there been this waste of perfumed oil it could have been sold for more than 300 days wages and the money given to the poor they were infuriated with her Jesus said let her alone why do you make trouble for me she has done a good thing for me The poor you will always have with you, and whenever you wish you can do good to them, but you will not always have me. Allora mandò due dei suoi discepoli, dicendo loro Andate in città, e vi verrà incontro un uomo con una brocca d'acqua. Seguitelo. Là dove entrerà... When they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. Ora, mentre erano a tavola e mangiavano, Gesù disse, And as they reclined at table and were eating, Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me.
e gli disse loro uno dei dodici colui che mette con me la mano nel piatto il figlio dell'uomo se ne va come sta scritto di lui ma guai a quell'uomo dal quale il figlio dell'uomo viene tradito meglio per quell'uomo se non fosse mai nato e mentre mangiavano prese il pane e recitò la benedizione lo spezzò e lo diede loro dicendo while they were eating he took bread said the blessing broke it and gave it to them and said take it this is my body then he took a cup gave thanks and gave it to them and they all drank from it he said to them this is my blood of the covenant which will be shed for many amen i say to you i shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when i drink it new in the kingdom of god Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Uscirono verso il Monte degli Olivi. Gesù disse loro: Tutti rimarrete scandalizzati, perché sta scritto: Percuoterò il pastore e le pecore. Then Jesus said to them: All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written: I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all should have their faith shaken, mine will not be. And Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, this very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he vehemently replied, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, La mia anima è triste fino alla morte. Restate qui e vegliate. My soul is sorrowful even unto death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that if it were possible the hour might pass by him. Tutto è possibile a te. Allontana da me questo calice, però non ciò che voglio io, ma ciò che vuoi tu. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Perché i loro occhi si erano fatti pesanti e non sapevano che cosa rispondergli. Venne per la terza volta e disse loro, Dormite pure e riposatevi. Basta. Withdrawing again he prayed, saying the same thing. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open, and he did not know what to answer him. He returned a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up. Let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Then, while he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. One of the bystanders drew his sword, struck the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. Jesus said to him in reply, Have you come out as against a robber? said to them in reply, Have you come out against them? Allora tutti lo abbandonarono e fuggirono. 
Lo seguiva però un ragazzo. As against a robber, with swords and clubs to seize me. Day after day I was with you, teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. And they all left him and fled. Now a young man followed him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth about his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. I capi dei sacerdoti e tutto il sinedrio cercavano una testimonianza contro Gesù per mettere... They led Jesus away to the high priest, and all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes came together. Peter followed him at a distance into the high priest's courtyard and was seated with the guards, warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death but they found none. Many gave false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. Some took the stand and testified falsely against him, alleging we heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with hands, and within three days I will build another not made with hands. Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus, saying, Io lo sono, e vedrete il figlio dell'uomo seduto alla destra della potenza e venire con le nubi del cielo. Allora il sommo sacerdote, stracciandosi le vesti, disse Che bisogno abbiamo ancora di testimoni? Avete udito la bestemmia? Che ve ne pare? Tutti sentenziarono che era reo di morte. Are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? Then Jesus answered, I am, and you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as deserving to die. Some began to spit on him. They blindfolded him and struck him and said to him, Prophesy! And the guards greeted him with blows. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the high priest's maids came along. Seeing Peter warming himself, she looked intently at him and said, You too were with the Nazarene Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. So he went out into the outer court. Then the cock crowed. The maid saw him and began again to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. Once again he denied it. Ma egli cominciò a imprecare e a giurare. Non conosco quest'uomo di cui parlate. E subito, per la seconda... A little later the bystander said to Peter once more, Surely you were one of them, for you too are a Galilean. He began to curse and to swear. I do not know this man about whom you are talking. And immediately a cock crowed a second time. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. He broke down and wept. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. 
are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison, along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after Jesus had been scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple, and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, And they kept striking his head with a reed and splitting and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenaean, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. With him they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe.
At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, and at three o'clock Jesus cried out in a loud voice. Alle tre Gesù gridò a gran voce. Eloi, Eloi, le ma sabachthani. Che significa? Which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Eloi, Eloi, Lema, Sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? the Holy Father and all the faithful on their knees. As though they were at the foot of the cross. upon which the body of our Lord and Savior hangs. Il velo del tempio si squarciò in due da cima a fondo. Il centurione che si trovava di fronte a lui, avendolo visto spirare in quel modo, disse: The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed it was last, he said: Truly, this man was the son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of the younger James and of Joseph and Salome. These women had followed him when he was in Galilee and ministered to them, to him. There were also many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When it was already evening, since it was the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a distinguished member of the council, who was himself awaiting the kingdom of God, came and courageously went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was amazed that he was already dead. He summoned the centurion and asked him if Jesus had already died, and when the centurion, and when he learned of it, from the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Having brought a linen cloth, he took him down, wrapped him in the linen cloth, and laid him in a tomb that had been hewed out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, watched where he was laid. Verbum Domini. 
For those of you just joining us, this is Vatican Radio's live English language coverage of Holy Mass on Palm Sunday from St. Peter's Square. Pope Francis is the principal celebrant, and we have just heard the Gospel reading, the Passion of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the Gospel according to St. Mark. The gospel as is traditional proclaimed by three deacons to the faithful gathered in the square. Al centro di questa celebrazione che appare tanto fastosa c'è la parola che abbiamo ascoltato nell'inno della lettera ai nell'inno della lettera ai filippesi. Delivers the homily. At the heart of this celebration, which seems so festive, he says, are the words we heard in the hymn of the letter to the Philippians. He humbled himself, Jesus' humiliation. These words show us God's way and the way of salvation. It is humility, a way which it constantly amazes and disturbs us. We will never get used to a humble God. Humility is, above all, God's way. God humbles himself to walk with his people to put up with their infidelity. This is clear when we read the book of Exodus. How humiliating for the Lord to hear all that grumbling, all those complaints against Moses, but ultimately against him, their father, who brought them out of slavery and was leading them on the journey through the desert to the land of freedom. In questa settimana, la settimana santa che ci conduce alla Pasqua, noi andremo su questa strada dell'umiliazione di Gesù. E solo così sarà santa. This week, Holy Week, which leads us to Easter, we will take this path of Jesus' own humiliation. Only in this way will this week be holy for us too. We will feel the contempt of the leaders of his people and their attempts to trip him up. We will be there at the betrayal of Judas, one of the twelve, who will sell him for thirty pieces of silver. We will see the Lord arrested and carried off like a criminal, abandoned by his disciples, dragged before the Sanhedrin, condemned to death, beaten and insulted. We will hear Peter, the rock among the disciples, deny him three times. We will hear the shouts of the crowd egged on by their leaders who demand that Barabbas be freed and Jesus crucified. We will see him mocked by the soldiers robed in purple and crowned with thorns. And then, as he makes his sorrowful way beneath the cross, 
We will hear the jeering of the people and their leaders who scoff at his being king and son of God. This is God's way, the way of humility. It is the way of Jesus. There is no other. And there can be no humility without humiliation. In effetti, umiltà vuol dire anche servizio, vuol dire lasciare spazio a Dio. Following this path to the full, the Son of God took on the form of a slave. In the end, humility means service. It means making room for God by stripping oneself, emptying oneself, as Scripture says. This is the greatest humiliation of all. There is another way, however, opposed to the way of Christ. It is worldliness, the way of the world. The world proposes the way of vanity, pride, success, the other way. The evil one proposed this way to Jesus too during his 40 days in the desert, but Jesus immediately rejected it. With him, with his grace and only with his grace, we too can overcome this temptation, not only at significant moments. But in daily life as well. In this we are helped and comforted by the example of so many men and women who in silence and hiddenness sacrifice themselves daily to serve others. A sick relative, an elderly person living alone, a disabled person. But we think, too, of the humiliation endured by all those who, for their lives of fidelity to the gospel, encounter discrimination and pay a personal price. We think, too, of our brothers and sisters who are persecuted because they are Christians the martyrs of our own time. They refuse to deny Jesus and they endure insult and injury with dignity. They follow him on his way. We can speak in truth of a cloud of witnesses. Let us in this week set about with determination along this same path, with immense love for him, our Lord and Savior. Love will guide us and give us strength. For where he is, we too shall be. Rimaniamo alcuni istanti a meditare in silenzio. For those of you just joining us, this is Vatican Radio's
for some brief moments. Live English language coverage of Holy Mass on Palm Sunday. We have heard the Passion proclaimed and listened to the Holy Father's homily. And the faithful in the square are gathered for a few moments of prayerful recollection at the beginning of Holy Week 2015. Let us set about with determination along this same path, said Pope Francis. The way of Jesus, which is the way of the cross. With immense love for him, our Lord and Savior.
fratelli carissimi, con lo sguardo fisso su Gesù, agnello senza macchia, immolato per amore, presentiamo al Padre le necessità della Chiesa e dell'umanità. Preghiamo per la Santa Chiesa di Dio. Oremus pro Christianis qui persecutione spaziuntur. For the Christians who are suffering persecution. Que la passion de Jésus, soufferte et accueillie avec liberté, le, les rende participants de l'œuvre du salut. Oremus pro juvenibus. For young people. Sensara Jesus, yang dihidupi dalam ketaatan akan kehendak Bapa. Gesù, vissuto in obbedienza alla volontà del Padre, renda i loro cuori. For all those who seek the truth. Oremus pro pauperibus et dolentibus. For the poor and suffering. Yesu ameteseka kwa ajili ya wokovu wa binadamu. Awafariji katika madonda yao. Vissuta per la salvezza dell'uomo, consoli le loro ferite e accenda in loro la speranza. Padre di bontà, che nella passione e morte di Gesù ci hai rivelato il tuo amore e che nella sua risurrezione ci doni la vita eterna, accogli con benevolenza la nostra preghiera. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. The Father of all goodness, who in the passion and death of Jesus revealed his love to us, and who in his resurrection gives us eternal life that he might welcome with benevolence our prayer through Christ our Lord. And now the offertory procession begins as the scola intones the improperium expectabit. from Psalm 68.
Pregate, fratelli, perché il mio e il vostro sacrificio sia gradito a Dio Padre Onnipotente. Signore, Dio Onnipotente, la passione del tuo unico Figlio affretti il giorno del tuo perdono. Non lo meritiamo per le nostre opere, ma lo tenga dalla tua misericordia questo unico mirabile sacrificio. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. In alto i nostri cuori. Signore. Rendiamo grazie al Signore nostro Dio. E' veramente cosa buona e giusta, nostro dovere e fonte di salvezza, rendere grazie sempre in ogni luogo a Te, Signore, Padre Santo, Dio Onnipotente ed Eterno, per Cristo, Signore nostro. Egli, che era senza peccato, accettò la passione per noi peccatori e consegnandosi a un'ingiusta condanna, portò il peso dei nostri peccati. Con la sua morte lavò le nostre colpe e con la sua risurrezione ci acquistò la salvezza. E noi con tutti gli angeli del cielo innalziamo a te il nostro canto e proclamiamo insieme la tua lode. Padre veramente santo, a te la lode da ogni creatura, per mezzo di Gesù Cristo, tuo Figlio e nostro Signore, nella potenza dello Spirito Santo, fai vivere e santifichi l'universo e continui a radunare intorno a te un popolo che da un confine all'altro dalla terra offra il tuo nome in sacrificio perfetto. Ora ti preghiamo umilmente, Manda il tuo Spirito a santificare i doni che ti offriamo, perché diventino il corpo e il sangue di Gesù Cristo, tuo Figlio e nostro Signore, che ci ha comandato di celebrare questi misteri. Nella notte in cui fu tradito, egli prese il pane, ti rese grazie con la preghiera di benedizione. Lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse «Prendete e mangiatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo, offerto in sacrificio per voi». Dopo la cena, allo stesso modo, prese il calice e diresse grazie con la preghiera di benedizione, 
lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse «Prendete e bevetene tutti, questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alleanza, versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me». Mistero della fede. del tuo figlio morto per la nostra salvezza gloriosamente risorto e asceso al cielo nella testa della sua venuta ti offriamo Padre in rendimento di grazie questo sacrificio vivo e santo guarda con amore e riconosci nell'offerta della tua Chiesa la vittima immolata per la nostra redenzione e a noi che ci nutriamo del corpo e sangue del Tuo Figlio, dona la pienezza dello Spirito Santo, perché diventiamo in Cristo un solo corpo e un solo Spirito. Egli faccia di noi un sacrificio perenne a Te gradito, perché possiamo ottenere il regno promesso insieme con i Tuoi eletti con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, con San Giuseppe, suo Sposo, con i Tuoi Santi Apostoli, i gloriosi Martiri e tutti i Santi, nostri intercessori presso di Te. Per questo sacrificio di riconciliazione, dona Padre pace e salvezza al mondo intero. Conferma nella fede e nell'amore la tua Chiesa pellegrina sulla terra, il tuo servo e nostro Papa Francesco, il Collegio Episcopale, tutto il clero e il popolo che tu hai redento. Ascolta la preghiera, la preghiera di questa famiglia che hai convocato alla tua presenza nel giorno in cui il Cristo ha vinto la morte e ci ha resi partecipi della sua vita immortale. Ricongiungi a te, Padre misericordioso, tutti i tuoi figli ovunque dispersi. Accogli nel tuo regno i nostri fratelli defunti e tutti i giusti che in pace con te hanno lasciato questo mondo. Concedi anche a noi di ritrovarci insieme a godere per sempre della Tua gloria. In Cristo, nostro Signore, per mezzo del quale Tuo Dio doni al mondo ogni bene. Per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo, a A Te, te, Dio Padre Padre Onnipotente, nell'unità dello Spirito Santo, Ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli.
Obedienti alla parola del Salvatore e formati al suo divino insegnamento, osiamo dire. Signore da tutti i mali, concedi la pace ai nostri giorni e con l'aiuto della tua misericordia vivremo sempre liberi dal peccato e sicuri da ogni turbamento nell'attesa che si compia la beata speranza e venga il nostro Salvatore Gesù Cristo. Cristo, che hai detto ai tuoi apostoli, vi lascio la pace, vi do la mia pace. Non guardare ai nostri peccati, ma alla fede della tua Chiesa, e donale unità e pace secondo la tua volontà. Tu che vivi e regni nei secoli dei secoli. La pace del Signore sia sempre con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. Offerte Bobis pace. Beati limitati alla cena del Signore, ecco l'agnello di Dio che toglie i peccati del mondo. O oh Signore, non sono degno di partecipare alla tua mensa, ma di soltanto una parola e io sarò salvato.
Rimaniamo alcuni istanti in silenzio orante. Let us keep prayerful silence for some brief moments. Guardemos silencio por unos instantes y permanezcamos en oración. Preghiamo. O Padre, che ci hai nutriti con i tuoi santi doni e con la morte del tuo Figlio ci fai sperare nei beni in cui crediamo, fa che per la sua risurrezione possiamo giungere alla meta della nostra speranza. Per Cristo nostro Signore. termine di questa celebrazione saluto con affetto tutti voi qui presenti, in particolare i giovani. Cari giovani, vi esorto a proseguire il vostro cammino sia nelle diocesi sia nel pellegrinaggio attraverso i continenti che vi porterà l'anno prossimo a Cracovia. Patria di San Giovanni Paolo II. Iniziatori delle giornate mondiali della gioventù. Il tema di quel grande incontro, Beati i misericordiosi perché troveranno misericordia, si intona bene con l'anno santo della misericordia. The theme of which will be blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. A theme that intones well with the uh, holy year of mercy that the Holy Father has invoked. Ma il suo cuore, come quello del figlio, era pronto al sacrificio. Impariamo da lei, Vergine fedele, a seguire il Signore anche quando la sua via porta alla croce. Affido alla sua intercessione 
Father entrusts to her maternal care the intercession of the victims of the air disaster on Tuesday of last week. Angelus Domini, nunciavit Maria. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Ecce ancilla Domini. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Et verbo un caro factum est. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictu fructus ventris tu Iesus. Santa Maria, Madre Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis, Santa dei Gentis. Udine e ricevamo promissione tu Cristi. Grazie a tu anque sumus Domine, mentibus nostri si infunde. Uti ange renunciante, Cristi fili tua incarnazione coniovimo, per passione meio ser cruce, a resurrezionis gloria in perducamur, per eunda in Cristo un Domino nostro. Amen. Gloria a Patri, et Figlio, et Spiritu e Santo. Sicurera di principio, et nunca e sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria a Patri, et Figlio, et Spiritu e Santo. Sicurera di principio, et nunca e sempre, Gloria a Patri, et Figlio, et Spiritu e Santo. Sicurea di principio, et nunca e sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Profide vivus de fontis, requim et arandona eis Domine, et lux perpetua luce a reis, requiescant in pace. Amen. Domino Soviscum, Ecco Spiritu Tuo, Sin nome Domini Benedictum, Ecco Nunque Cusque in Seculo, Aiuto il nostro in nomine Domini, Qui feci il cielo e terra, Benedicat Vos, Omnipotens Deus, Pater, Filius, e Spiritu Santo. Amen. Ite Misa Est, Vi auguro una santa settimana in contemplazione del mistero di Gesù Cristo. traditional midday prayer of Marian devotion, the final blessing, and the dismissal of the deacon, along with a, a final uh, expression of the Holy Father's wish uh, for, that we all have a blessed Holy Week, contemplating the mysteries. of the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord. Pope Francis has begun to make his way from the sanctuary erected on the steps before 
the facade of the Basilica of St. Peter. And so it begins once again, Holy Week. The holiest week of the year, in which the Church makes present, once again, the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, one and all, for being with us. Howsoever you reached us, and especially to those of you who reached us through our partners in radio and television, uh, EWTN TV, Net TV, Salt and Light TV, Telecare TV, Catholic TV, Shalom World TV, Radio Maria. Again, thanks and a blessed Holy Week. To all of you, from me, Chris Oltieri, and from all of us here at Vatican Radio, Laudetur Jesus Christus. teach everything he commanded them to teach. New ways to communicate God's word. Present positive images to our people. This message of truth and salvation. Culture of uh, encounter. Gospel of Christ worldwide. Shalom World TV. Twenty four seven. Faith filled. Dynamic. Virtue building. Commercial free. Family friendly. Catholic charismatic channel to the whole world. Promote the gift of church teaching. Dedicated for the new evangelization. Mentor the young into a deeper embrace of the Catholic faith. Wonderful contributions to the church. People of prayer. with great love taking this to the next step shalom world tv shalom 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 world god's own channel